Welcome back to Electrolytes Explained, the mini series where I'm breaking down the major three electrolytes that are found in pretty much all of the mixes on the market. In the past few episodes, we had covered magnesium, everything you need to know about it. In this last episode, I talked to you about potassium, how much you should be getting in in the day, and how much I would recommend maximum supplementing. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the different types of potassium and the one that you really need to know about. So let's dive into it. There are a few different forms of supplemental potassium. The only one you really need to concern yourself with is potassium chloride. That one's the most effective at getting rid of any potassium deficiencies. It's also the one that pretty much every electrolyte company uses in their mixes. Another form of supplemental potassium that may be a good option if potassium chloride upsets your stomach or you don't like the taste is potassium gluconate. Potassium gluconate does have a little lower elemental value of potassium, so you have to take a little bit more to get the same results as what you'd get with potassium chloride. But again, it's a little easier on the stomach, so some people like it. And the last form of potassium I'm gonna to cover today is potassium citrate. And this one's not used to raise potassium levels in the blood. It's actually used for certain types of kidney stones. So you really shouldn't be supplementing it at all but I told you guys I'd educate you about potassium and that's part of potassium. And now you know what the different types of potassium are and what they're best used for. If you watched last video, you should also know how much you need for the day. In this next video, I'm gonna tell you how to get in your potassium without any supplements, just whole foods. So thanks for stopping by and learning with me. Come back for the next one, but for now, just have a good day.